Hello and welcome to SeedProd. In this video, I wanna show you how to create a team member page or a meet the team page that you can add to your WordPress websites quickly and easily by using SeedProd. SeedProd is a drag and drop WordPress website builder used by over 1 million professionals. So to start, you can head over to seedprod.com or you can click the link in the description below and you can click on get SeedProd now and select the account that makes the most sense for you. In this video, I'm gonna be using the pro version. I'll add a link to a video in the description below on how to install SeedProd if you need help with that. And here I have a clean installation of WordPress. The only thing that I have installed is SeedProd here. And we can see SeedProd in the side menu and we're gonna to go to Theme Builder. The first thing I wanna do is add one of our template kits. This will give us a website that we can quickly import into our WordPress. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on Theme Template Kits. You can create a theme from scratch if you like. In this example, I just wanted to get a head start. And here you can see all of the templates that come with SeedProd and they're fully customized. You can customize them however you wish. They're all responsive and mobile friendly and they're designed in-house by our own design team. I'm gonna go with this one, Nutrition Consultant Website. Let's go ahead and just hit the check mark here. It doesn't really matter which one you select. And there we go, we can see all of the theme template files that it imported. Now these are not specific pages or posts, but they can be applied to pages and posts. So for example, we have a single page template here and by default, if you create a new page in WordPress, for example, this template will be applied to that page. So this is a great way to create one template to control the design for all of your pages. It does look like there's some custom layouts here for the About Us and Contact Us page. The first step before continuing, you wanna make sure that the CProd theme is enabled here. You get in the top right corner, this is toggled on to yes. Let's go ahead and take a preview of what this looks like. We can see the theme here and we want to go ahead and make that team member page. So we could make a new page here or we could edit the about us page, which I think we'll do that. If you wanted to create one from scratch, you simply go into pages and add new and you could call this team or our team and you could just publish this if you like and you can edit with seed prod. Here it'll break you into a page and here you could change the layout and all of the elements on the page directly on a new page. You just simply save this and preview it and then you'd have your team page here. We're gonna actually modify this about us page. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll just exit out of here. And this team page that I created, I'll just move that to trash for now. So let's look for under pages, all pages. Let's see the about us page and we'll go edit with seed prod. Great, so on the right hand side, we can see the seed prod page builder. This has our sections and our rows and columns and our block. And on the left hand side, we can see the blocks that we can add into our pages. So for example, if I come down and I wanna add a new button, I can find the button block and just simply drag it into my page. Click the block settings and you can see the options change on the left hand side here. And we would just modify that. I'm gonna delete this for now. I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna add our team page down here somewhere. So there's an about page here and this looks like it's about one person specifically. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this whole section and I'll just leave this here for now. I'm gonna create a new section and we'll add some rows in here. I think we'll do maybe three wide. Let's go ahead and do that and I'll drag this section up above the other one here. So we'll have the quote here on the bottom. Great, now that we have three columns, I'll add the team block. To get back to the blocks, we'll just hit the icon up here and I'll search for team. On the left-hand side under advanced, we can see the team member block. I'll just drag that into this column. Now we can hit the block settings here to modify this and customize it however we wish. So there's a lot of white on the page. So I think the first thing that I wanna do is add a border around here so we can get an idea of the spacing between each element since we're gonna have three beside each other. So the first thing, let's go under advanced. And we're just gonna kind of skip ahead here a little bit and come down to border. And I wanna add a border width of one and we'll add a border color. And I think maybe we'll go with this darker pink color, this peachy color. And now we can actually see the box outline that we're working with. I think because the image might be rounded, let's go ahead and add a border radius of 10 pixels and we can see a little bit of curvature on that as well. And we can see that it's actually touching. So we, if we come under spacing, we can add some padding here. I'll go maybe 20. And I think that's pretty good. Great, now we can come back to the content tab here on the top left. And now we can actually modify the content inside here. So the first thing is the image. This would be the image of your team member. So you could click on use your own image and then you could just simply upload the photo of that team member and select that to use it. For this example, I'm just gonna use a stock image since I don't personally have a team that I can add in here. And then I can just do a quick stock image search. Okay, great, now that I have my image, you can add the alt text if you want. This is usually for e-readers or possibly certain search engines that use it. We have the width here and we have the image position. I think we should change the position first. Right now the image is on the top. We can change that to the left if we wish or to the right. I'm gonna go to the left, I think. 
and it looks a little small. Let's maybe go ahead and increase that a little bit. I think somewhere around 200 might be good. And if we come down, we can change the name here. I'll just change that quickly. Of course, you would change it to whatever makes sense to you, the person's name. And we have the title tag here. So we probably have an H1 up here for the headline. The next headline on the page would probably be an H2. So I'll just increase that a little bit from an H3. We have the alignment. I like it centered. We have the designation, which would be the job title. Right now it's CEO. So we can turn that on or off and you can update that if you like. We have the alignment for that as well. And we have a little bit of a description here. So you can hide that or show that if you like. I'll show it and then you can upgrade the text here. Great, so we're done with the general information. Let me just minimize this and so we can open the image area. Now this is the shape, it's rounded. Default is just the sharp corners here. We have rounded, which is what we used. We have circle and we have custom where you can change the image border radius for each corner. I think rounded is fine for this example. Next we have the separator. This is what's right in between the name and the designation. We can change the position to below name, below designation, below description. I like where it is right now. I think I might actually change that to below designation. So it puts the title with the name and then the description underneath that. You have the width here, which I might actually bring down just a little bit. And we have the style solid, dotted or dashed. I'll go with solid and the thickness. I think I'll go with five. However, I will change the color of it. Maybe we'll do a matching kind of peach pink color with the background here. And I think that looks pretty good. You can change the alignment there as well if you like. Let's come back and I'll go to the social icons. So here you can decide to show them or not. So here I'll turn them on. For right now there's Facebook and Twitter. You can add a new item and then select the icon for that. So maybe this person has a YouTube account. You can select that and you can see the new icon here. You can give it a title. I'll just call this one YouTube and you can put the link right here to that channel. You can customize the background and icon color for each one. Or if you come down in this section, you can change the width, the icon padding, background color, and the icon color. For the icon color, I might actually change this to the matching dark color that we use for the border, just so it doesn't pop off too much, but it's still noticeable. We also have the shape here, but you won't notice these unless you set a background color. So you can select a background to go behind the icon if you like, but I think it looks good how it is currently. Great, now that's all of the options for the content tab. We can come back to the advanced, even though we already were here for a second. You can check all the styles for the topography, designation, the name, color. You can fully customize everything here. Again, we have the spacing here. And I think we put 20. We could actually try 10. That might actually be a little bit better. And here we have the border again that we did. We did 10 border radius on the corners and the color. I think that looks fine. We have a background, which we didn't add. So you could put maybe a light gray or darker color if you like. And you could play with that if you wanted. I'm just going to leave that for white for now. If we minimize that, we have the attributes here. You can put a custom class for your CSS if you know what you're doing with that. Or you could use the CSS ID if you want to add some custom JavaScript or connect your CSS to that as well. Here we have device visibility. Maybe you want to hide this on mobile or you want to hide it on desktop. You can go ahead and do that. And down below here, we have the animation effect, which you can add any of these animations to that specific block. For this example, I'll just leave it off for now. Great, once you're happy with that, you could go ahead and click the duplicate block. So you don't have to do all this over again. And we could just drag this over. And now you have a second one. Here we can do it again. And we have a third one. And then of course you would just select the block settings, come over to the content tab, and you would just update the information here for that new person. Great, there we go. So I just modified these other two. I added this one here for John. Great, so once you're happy with this whole row, what we could do is actually take the blue section, this is the row, and duplicate this and you'll have another one. And then you can simply go ahead and modify this until you run out of team members and you've added everybody in here. Another thing you might want to do is have a bigger box for either your CEO or your president or the owner, whoever you want to add or have stand out a little bit. You could make a bigger box here. And what we could do is add a new section with new columns. Let's say there's two owners or two people running the company. We could go ahead and grab one of these. We'll duplicate this and bring it up. And I'll just select this one for now first. And on the left-hand side, of course, you would change the image change the name. Let's go ahead and change the position of the image. I'll put this actually on the top this time and we'll make this a lot wider. So I can make this maybe 500 if you want to make it huge or you could just keep it smaller around the 300 which stands out quite a bit. Now you could change the design if you wanted to to go further. Maybe under advanced you could add a background color so that this one has a background but the other ones don't. So let's go ahead under advanced styles background and we'll just add maybe that light gray color. 
And I think that looks pretty good. Maybe you'll take the divider and make that a little bit darker since it doesn't work too well, the, uh, the peach color on that color. We'll make that maybe a little bit darker. There, once you're happy again, you would just simply duplicate this block and bring it over here and do the same thing. You just update the information. Now you have a, a team page where you have two people that stand out on the top and then you have the rest of the team on the bottom. And there you go. Once you're happy with everything, we can go ahead and just simply save this and we can do a little preview and we'll go to the about us page. And there you go. You can see the page that we added. You could add way more to this page if you like. You have full control over the design, but this is a great way to showcase your team members and for people to get to know them. And the text here for the description, you can add a lot more. You can add paragraphs of text if you wish, whatever you'd like to do. And that's how you create a meet the team page quickly and easily by using Seaprod with our drag and drop builder. If you found this video helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out these videos for more help on how to use Seaprod and see what it can do for your small business or personal projects. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.